As someone who has been on self-improvement for pretty much the last three years now, I know what it's like to go through those ups and downs where you don't feel like you're doing well and you feel like everything in your life is messed up, whether something happens or you feel like you failed something. I understand what it's like to go through those periods of time where you don't feel like you're okay. And the thing is, having the mindset of wanting to improve your life, at least for me, I always want to change that so quick. And I'm always like, man, why do I feel like this? Why am I messed up right now? Like, why am I sad? Like, I need to fix this. I need to get better. You should be better. Things are going in your life. Like, you're, you got great family, great, like, everything is good in your life. Why aren't you enjoying this moment? And the thing is, I've always had that mindset and I've always kind of resented being or feeling like I'm not okay and always wanting to just fix it right away and like find the answer like where is it like how can I fix this what habit do I need to do but sometimes things just aren't going your way sometimes life just comes at you and you're not okay and the thing is it's perfectly fine not to be okay there's never gonna be a period in your life where once you've gotten to that place that everything goes good for the rest of your life. That's not how life works. You're gonna get somewhere someday where you feel like you've, you're have you on top of the world and the next day it's probably gonna get worse and you're gonna fall back in those valleys where you don't feel like you're doing good and it's kind of like this unrealistic thing that I believe mostly like social media and movies have kind of installed that belief in us that things are good all the time, that people can be happy all the time. But as a human being, it's physically impossible for you to feel good all the time. The human emotional perspective is meant like it's just physically impossible to feel great all the time. And it's this unrealistic facade that social media and modern like media has just presented to us that oh you should be happy all the time but even those people who like videos and like on social media with that their life looks so purpose that their life looks so perfect it's all there's no one who's perfectly happy all the time no matter how much their life like i don't know matter how life man i'm just like stumbling on everything today no matter how good their life looks it's not perfect. They're going through something. And oftentimes when you're like, you open your phone on social media and see someone like, man, they look so happy. Reality is you're probably doing a lot better than them than like, and doing at least a lot better compared to them as you think you are. We kind of get trapped in our own mind of being like, man, it's, it's not okay to be okay. I should feel better. I should like, I should improve. But that mindset, like when you don't feel good, good enough and you just feel kind of like down that's perfectly normal it's part of life and with this channel i really hope to kind of at least do my part in kind of breaking down that belief that everything is always fine because i'm human nothing's ever fine in my life and everyone who you see on social media they all have problems everyone has stuff that they go through and thinking your life is like so messed up or thinking that something's wrong with you just because you don't feel okay right now is like completely bullshit. It's okay that you don't feel 100% right now. It's all right to kind of be struggling. It's all right to not have everything figured out. Honestly, you will never have anything figured out. It's just the way life works. And you have to be willing to accept kind of the beauty that comes with that and just kind of enjoy the roller coaster ride of life because you're going to go up, you're going to go down. And you just need to be present and experience those moments for what it is. A big mindset that has really just kind of helped me find a lot of peace, even in in those times where it's like, man, this shit kind of sucks right now, is creating things and pouring like all the stress and all the pain that I have into music and into art and like just into things that I make, whether it be these videos, but especially music, because a lot of the best songs that I've ever written they don't come from like happy times, like some of them do, but a lot of them come from heartbreak. A lot of them come from personal growth. And in order to grow, you need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to experience new stuff that's gonna challenge you. Right now, if you feel like everything's like going wrong in your life, 
you're probably just being challenged. You are going to grow from this experience and it's up to you how you present that growth. For me, it's I take that feeling and I don't necessarily just try and get rid of it through like mind numbing, which a lot of people do in like drugs and drinking and stuff. It's up to you to take that feeling and put it and put that energy because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It just can be transformed. So take that energy that you feel and put it into something that matters to you. Pour all that pain into something that's important to you and that you can actually see the benefit from. That's what just amazes me about art is like, I can take this feeling that I have about insecurity or just self-questioning or anything, and I can put it into something that can help other people and can improve my life at the same time. That's just like the the world that we live in where I'm able to do that through YouTube and music. Like it just, it just gives me chills every time I can think about that, where I can like, think like man i have a problem right now and i can pour all that pain into something that can help someone else get through that same thing and inspire them to change their life like that is just a powerful thing man like i got like chills just talking about that and the thing is there's a lot of people who don't think like that the thing is there's a lot of people who when they feel something bad they try to numb it and they try to cover it up with drugs or social media or like even sex sometimes it's just trying to cover up that bad feeling and try to escape it but the thing is if you keep running from it and you don't like just allow yourself to sit with it and properly heal then it's just going to keep getting worse you can push it down and push it down and push it down as much as you want but eventually it's going to come back up and it's going to explode it's like if you have a spring that spring is like the tension loaded on that thing is like it wants to go up. So no matter how far you push it down and hold it down, if you ever let go or forget it's there and then you let go of that spring, it's going to bounce up because that's the nature of the spring. And the more that you push it down, I think it's like excess potential. The more that you push it down, the higher the excess potential increases and the more it's going to like rebound back. It's like a scale. Like if you're trying to achieve balance and you put a bunch of weight on this side and then you take that weight off, it's not just going to immediately go back to here. It's going to swing back to the other side and swing back until it wobbles a little bit to just kind of get back to normal. So you need to be willing to just sit with those feelings and accept that like, this is kind of what life is right now. And if you have memories of those like beautiful moments and stuff, know that you can get back to them, know that you can improve. And the other thing with this is like, when you feel sad and stuff, don't just like sit in your room and do nothing. Don't just like put on a sad song and just sit in your room with the lights off and not do anything and just like wallow in your own sadness. Do something that gets your mind off of it, like create or go spend time with your friends. Just keep doing something. And that for me, that's how I heal. You don't like heal from something just like sitting there and thinking about it all the time. That's one of the worst things that you can do. Do something where you get your mind off of it. Do something that keeps you occupied, but still allows you to experience those things in life that you enjoy, like going, spending time with your family, going to your friends. Like there's ways to escape that feeling in a healthy way that allows you to build upon it and actually improve your life instead of just trying to run from it and try to suppress it down so that you can't feel it now with that being said if you don't know already my name is Kobe wallace i'm an 18 year old artist from canada and if you like videos like this where you hear me talk about self-improvement stuff and also want to hear some of my original music that i have coming very very soon which i'm very excited about you might as well subscribe i'm not sure what you're waiting for it's a win for you it's a win for me also if you struggle with being addicted to your phone and want to learn how to quit i have a free community that you can join 100% for free today. Scroll down, click the top link in the description to join. Also, if you want to check out my original music, that is also linked in the description. And with that being said, never stop creating, my friend, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.